All right, we are in the city. Uh, we are hitting the Mueller showroom, mostly for JC. Uh, you know, I was at KBiz. I flipped out over all the Miele appliances. But JC's the one who really has a passion for cooking. It's in the kitchen a lot. And I wanted to make sure, even though I was sending her videos and different things along the way, I want her to see the stuff. Because ultimately, she's the one that needs to be happy with it. Uh, I'm the boss of the kitchen. Yeah. Um, so you, you, you know what you're looking for? I do know what I'm looking for. I think this is the part that I'm most excited about. Fire power! Uh, awesome. So uh, we'll take you guys along with us. I'm hoping they have a coffee machine hooked up because that is what we both want. Let's go in. Go. What's up, hey, bud? How are you? How are you? Great man? to see you Good all. To see Good you. to see you. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great to see you. Me too. First of all, I heard you guys had a special moment a couple months back. We sure did. <laughs> Over the summer. We sure did. Well, we are super excited. <laughs> again, I'm following everything you've been doing. You've been awesome. So much. Um, just for your engagement, I do want to give you a bottle of champagne. Oh, Wonderful. Nice. Thank a, you. So Tattinger is one of our global bond partners. And as you see here, we also have it branded. Uh, with Mila. I love it. So, All right. Uh, yeah, we have it in each of our showrooms around the world. Um, in the US, we also use it for all of our cooking classes. So we share it with all of our guests who come in. Well, this, this is a special bottle for you guys. will be the first bottle that goes in the new wine fridge. Absolutely. Yes. For sure. Yes. That I got to pick because wine is my game. Yeah. Um, but as you well know, when I called you, I wanted to get JC's eyes on everything, make sure she's super happy with the direction um, and the features, because mm -hmm. she does 99% of the, of the Point cooking. Nine. Point nine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I am looking forward to yeah. showing you the products, but Absolutely. again, showing you for the first yes. time. Uh, I definitely want to ask the questions. We want to make sure that, you know, if we need to adjust and modify things that we've been already talking about, yep. we get you guys the right products for your lifestyle, your living, awesome. and your home as well in terms of your design. Awesome. So a little bit of what you want in terms of design, yeah. but a little bit in terms of what you want for cooking, we'll put together in terms of entertaining, hosting, eating, consuming. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, from a design perspective, basically everything that's in your mind. Not to blow smoke, but like, aside from the quality of what you guys do, the design aesthetic absolutely fits. Like the whole line, like I said, fits with what I do and what I'm creating there. The Italian, the Italian cabinets that we're doing. Um, you know, like my manufacturer, when I told him I'm using Mila, he's thrilled because he's so used to using that. Because you guys are so prominent in all through Europe that they have all your specs on hand. So I just had to send him model numbers and he knew every last cutout that I needed yeah. for, uh, for design. Well, so. It is great to work hand in hand with the designer, uh, with the architect, with the cabinet maker, just to make sure everything is precise. Yeah, for uh, sure. Because the last thing you want to have is a certain gap somewhere that just doesn't fit or if you're doing custom panels on an appliance. No gaps. <laughs> No gaps. No gaps. <laughs> uh, but you want to make sure that everything is custom fits the right Awesome. Way. So, so maybe if we could be presumptuous, can we start with the coffee? Absolutely. Because jc has been hearing about this machine since pages. I, sh I showed the champagne. <laughs> the coffee. All right, awesome. Let's get some jackets off. A espresso, cappuccino, I'll have regular a cappuccino. Coffee. All right, so let's You know do what, honey? Glass. I'm going to do that too. Let's do the glass okay. so we can show. So the great thing, so this is one of the items that you have picked out. Is there a trick to that? <laughs> oh, yep, you just kind of give it a light slim push in, in the middle. So you're going to put it here. You're going to just oh, do, do two, you're at two at the same time. Oh, no way. You can do two right. cappuccinos at the same time? You can do two cappuccinos. You can do a single, double, or you can actually um, also have a, a coffee pot. You can put a coffee pot in there and you can fill it up with coffee. Um, I've never done it with cappuccinos, but I'm sure. No, but I was, you know, when I was looking uh, at all the specs, I was very excited about the coffee pot because. We, you know, when you, you're having a brunch or you're having people over, you don't want to push the button, push the button, push the button. Mm -hmm. So you make a pot of coffee, you have that ready, and then you make cappuccinos on demand. That's yeah. just fucking awesome. So you could do multiple drinks with this coffee, the built-in built coffee system. Um, everything from, like I said, coffee to espresso to cappuccino to, to a longo, anything. And then you can also customize it in terms of you're making a cappuccino, but you want more coffee versus the, the 
milk, you can adjust it as you go. But this is kind of preset to kind of make a, a proper cappuccino. So hit the, your drinks button first. And then as you see, you'll see, you'll see the single cups, uh -huh. and then you'll see double cups on top. Okay. So you'll find the cappuccino, and then you'll hit the double cup. And voila, that's voila. it. We're gonna be making cappuccinos, two of them at the same time. So because we're making two at the same time, uh, it'll go through two rounds of grinding coffee. So everything that's happening in the coffee system is and actually the majority of all of our built-in appliances. There's, it, it's sleek, sleekly designed, all craft made. But what happens really is everything that happens in the machines are internal. You don't see it. That's where all the beauty happens. Really cool. So behind this panel here, this door, is where you can access the water. The, 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 the coffee beans where you would be filling them up, the, the coffee pucks that are used afterwards, and the coffee pucks actually are great to be used for cooking afterwards, or if you're a gardener, you can actually put that right. into your mulch. Now these also have the option too, this system can be plumbed, so right to your direct water line of your, your mulch. Or yeah, we went plumbed uh, for ours, but I love that you guys offer both options because if somebody's not doing like a heavy duty renovation, they can get this unit installed, use the water tank, but if you are doing a full gut and you're messing with all your mechanicals, it's pretty easy to just add a simple water line and then not have the tank on. Oh, this looks un. Coffee, correct? I wish you would smell a <laughs> And this container also, it comes out. Uh, you can be filled with milk and then you just would put it back into your refrigerator when you're right. not using it. Uh, it also can go into your dishwasher, whereas we're going to listen to the other components in here as well, just to make sure everything is tidy and clean. Now everything with a built-in appliance formula that uses water, we also then make sure, because we want to make sure it lasts over 20 years, and that's what our model is for, is that also we want to clean it. So there's descaling tests, you know, any kind of hard water residue that's in there. How often do you recommend doing it? It's basically based on the number of coffees that are in. Uh, so we drink a lot. What's the max? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, it's, it goes a long time. It goes a long time. But occasionally, you know, because we are using milk uh, and there are milk pipes in here, you know, you don't you want to make sure you clean it out. So it will do a flush regularly. So every time you maybe start it up in the morning, it may do a flush out first um, because it wants to make sure that you're, it's giving you perfect tasting coffee. Mm -hmm. So if there's something in the line, of course, that's not gonna, it's gonna make sure that the coffee's not to its perfection. So there you go, why don't you grab it? And, uh, you guys each grab one. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> They stole my coffee. And you don't get one. <laughs> they stole my coffee. <laughs> Go ahead, open it up. I love nuts and bolts. So, as you see, we, you know, we just made a couple of cups of coffee. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is in a showroom, so we've made probably a lot of cups of coffee yesterday and last night. So, it's very, it comes up, just points to things that has to happen. So right now, it's telling us to, to fill the bean container. So, this is a perfect opportunity to show you what's on the inside. So basically, you just, it's a little lever here, and you just pull it, so it acts as a door. Okay. And then you're inside, and here's all the components that are That's happening so sleek, inside. so sweet, even the inside. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, it's telling us to, to do the coffee beans. So the coffee beans are on the upper right, here. And here's your container. Mm -hmm. And what you'll do is you just slide it, get your coffee beans, which we have Mila coffee beans, and you can put the coffee beans in there. Uh, it'll take any other brand as well, but you just want to make sure that it's not a, a flavored bean mm -hmm. because they become tacky. Oh, okay. And then it can kind of gum up know. the system. Right. But We're coffee snobs, yeah. so no flavored beans. Yeah. So, in there. And then if you didn't have a plumb system where this is where the plumbing happens, uh, this is your water container. So you see it so, deep in here. So, Kev, what happens because we're plumbed? What is the, there's no container there for us. No, there still is a container. There still is a, yeah. okay. This is plumbed as well. So the water inlet is here. Uh, I understand. Fill up the container, and there you, therefore you have all this. So it fills this as necessary, yeah. and that always remains in the machine. Correct. Got it. Okay. Yep. This will always have some water in it. 
Uh, the water will come in, fill it up in here. Got it. Got it, got it. Got and then the machine, it, it draws it up under here. Uh huh. So that's why you have this uh, valve here. So it pulls up and draws up the water into uh -huh. the machine and then it does its thing. Cool. What is this? So this here is how dark or light you want your coffee to be. So how, what kind of, how fine or coarse you want your beans to be. So you can adjust it based on, on yours because we are serving multiple coffees a day to make mm -hmm. sure everyone's pleased by it. We put it at a moderate. We'll Sweet. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Of course. And then you use coffee pucks to go in here. That's so great. Show this, yeah, for it. sure. We're gonna use this in our garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then you take it. We have uh, we've got some vertical gardens we're gonna have on the roof deck, so that's gonna be some great for uh, fertilizer. And my dad's gonna want to steal and it then, for the beach too. Yes, totally. Yeah. So I was already thinking that. And then this is what your you have a drip tray. So when it has to cycle through, clean the pipes and stuff like that, it just basically operates and runs and there's holes in, in the front, which I'll show you, which come into here. And again, if you need to fill it up, there's some sensors back here. If you need to empty it, it'll tell you exactly when you need to do it because it's, it's full. So I'm just gonna take this out. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this machine basically tells you whatever it needs, when it needs it. So if the drip tray is full, it tells you. Yep. Beans, it tells you. Descale, it tells yep. you. It's got the brains. It has the brains, so you don't have to think about it. That's nice. It's going to walk you through everything that needs to happen. It's like in a car. The idiot light comes on. It tells you what to do. You fix exactly. it. Exactly. It needs gas. Fill it up with Great. gas. Great. Okay. Right? So, <laughs> you want to that? Yeah. So this is quite simple. So you basically, it's a clip. So when you want to store it, just kind of pull it out. And that just stores put it into your fridge. To your refrigerator. That's great. And then it's an easy screw top. And fill it up with your liking of water or milk. Oh, can you use non-dairies? Can you use nut milks and stuff? I mean, it's not a thing for me, but just in terms of educating people, like what know. do we do? Alright, we'll find out. Cool. MJ, can you use any other than milk like uh, almond milk? Oh my god, like, could you be more excited for this? I'm speechless. Coffee's done. Uh, it's time for the big piece. The movement I've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> the 48 inch, 8 burner, 2 oven and a warming drawer. Great. Thanksgiving. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we are gonna crush oh, this. You actually do have you get a warming drawer. Yeah. 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 Um oh, so <laughs> Jace. Be a future soon. Yeah. First time seeing this in person. I wish you could hear my heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> so as the else, Beautiful. As they say, everyone gathers in the kitchen, right? Yes. And you can't get people out of it no matter how hard you try to put food in other places and try to get people to go to another location of your home. Everyone gathers in the kitchen. And this is the focal point. This is what the conversation will always be about. Uh, this is beautiful. Uh, it's the right size. And you have customizable options when you go in to look into this. You can have all eight burners, mm -hmm. or you can have six, and then this middle section can either be a grill or a griddle. Uh, That's what I really want you to, to, to decide what, what you want there. Kevin can kind of talk you through what the options are, but I, you know, I don't know what to choose. So yeah, so I'd love to get your ideas and your thoughts in terms of how you would utilize um, your range. Mm -hmm. um, customization can happen in a couple of ways, three ways. You can have all eight burners, so this will be replaced with a burner, or this section right here can be either a griddle or a grill. So grilling if you're gonna wanna do steaks inside, mm -hmm. um, a griddle if you wanna do pancakes and eggs and act like your own little diner. Oh, bacon um, on the griddle? Everything. Now that's clutch. Yes. <laughs> Please. Yeah. You know, you can sear in here, you can then put it in the oven, like in terms of the steak. Um, there's multiple things and options you can do on a good all thing. I just, you know, I have something I just basically put over, over my, my, uh, my grills here. It just acts as a griddle, but I gotta make sure I have storage for that. So I know this gives you the opportunity. Sure. I only have six usable burners, 
with good BTUs, and then you have a granola milk, which makes you kind of get to explore your culinary expertise. Yeah. Yeah, so, just something to think about from a design perspective. So at home right now, we have five burners, mm -hmm. and you never have all of them operational at once. So even if this is something you don't think we'll use a ton, if you want to do something fun, we have six burners. We have one more than we currently have, yeah. and you don't use all of those as it is. So I think, I don't know. It, I don't know. I, I want your thoughts, but that's yeah. just from my perspective. No, like, I'm excited to, you know, take on the challenge of using a griddle more often. We do eat breakfast at home, you know, six out of seven mornings. And yeah. Bacon I am a bacon. Not having to bring out another pan, just putting like eggs right yeah, that's here. Very I'm also a Jersey boy, so Taylor ham and eggs. <laughs> Come on, honey. I like how you said Taylor ham. <laughs> yeah, we don't do pork roll in Jersey, we do Taylor ham. Growing up, my dad was a basketball coach and he was very superstitious, and every home game we had grilled cheese and tomato soup. So there this you have is it. a grilled cheese mecca. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> yeah. I always, I always envision myself as like an owner of a diner because again, we're cooking for my kids now too. Yeah. Like right. They have different requests all the time. So it's just like, okay, well one wants oatmeal, one wants cereal, one wants eggs, one wants, it's just, it's, you're doing everything. So I've got everything said, out. no problem. Yeah, just, I got it here, got the you know, grilled cheese here, got the eggs here. So um, yes to the griddle? Yes to the griddle. Yes to the griddle. Yeah, to cool. The griddle. Let me, um, let's just pick that up. I just yeah. want to check out. So this is your, your cover. Um, so when you're not using it, because when you're using a griddle after over time, even though you're cleaning it, mm -hmm. um, you're still getting it. You know, it's going to be stained. It's going to be used. Right. You know, because this is it's changed this color is, with the heat. Yeah, exactly. And right. This is rolled, rolled steel. So again, this is basically this is being just sitting here and, and not being used. But if it was being used, you know, this be this be obviously a little bit blacker, a little mm -hmm. browner. Sure. Um, you know, it's steel. We have a little markings on here. But yeah. again, that'll just kind of go away as being Listen, used. We use our appliances. We don't live in a yep. museum. We yep. live in function. And then that is the so way. Oh, so great. This is your tray, so as you have all that that's bacon grease, you pull it forward. That's dynamite. Yeah. And then great. these are your great, 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 great covers. Super so obviously cool. Obviously, might get used and just you know distress. So then you can use this to cover it up. Is that two covers? Then? It is, and I'll show you. Reason. Like, great question. Great question. Yeah. So <laughs> if you're going to use it, and then you might be putting something on here that splatters, you use it to cover. That's brilliant! Each of the sides. Oh, wow! Some art. So now you don't have to worry about grease and stuff like that getting That's down below. So nice having to worry about picking these up and cleaning them. So you use the outer burners, you cook out there, you keep... Oh, that's yeah. super cool. It's not saying you, you can still use them. Of course. Just, you know, of course. Unless. But that's nice to... Uh, Is it like a food splatters. Yeah. Food splatters. Especially when I'm behind the... Uh, behind the... Uh, room. <laughs> when are you behind? Hey, <laughs> I'm just that's kidding. Me. I'm just kidding. You are kidding. I don't like you. <laughs> so that's the that's the cooktop, and now we pair it with some great functionality below. Okay, wait. Show her, Kev. Show so her what it does. Here's how this operates. Just show like her what we it showed does. on the other one beforehand. Uh, let's just turn it on here, and it lifts up. So you saw it was a flat panel. Whoa! Is that you, sick? Right, for you, so you, just so you don't have that's to crouch, so cool. just so you don't have to crouch down. Yes, the so panel smart. moves up for you. So you have the operations of one oven here and another oven on this side. Okay. And there is a, an easy uh, there's a button here in case when you do push your operations and the oven's going. If you want to put that panel back down, you just hit this panel and it's going to push it back in. So basically, after you get your settings, after you, get your you settings, can you swing. can leave it up if you want. Because again, you might want to just monitor things. But then, if you know, if you need to access it again and things are operational, obviously you're not going to hit the on/off button. You just lift up the panel again. These are the things I'm excited about. That is like so the technology. Mm -hmm. So why don't you turn this one on? I think. Beautiful meal and sound to let you that know sounds. we are ready to cook. <laughs> wow. It's the most comfortable handle. Oh, the rotating handle? Yes. Yeah, it's wild. Yep. And it has on, on both of them. Wow. Right? So right here where you just opened up too, that's yeah. the that's the convection oven. Right. So it's a 27 inch cavity inside. Uh, perfect for any type of uh, turkey bird that you might be cooking, cooking, cooking or for any holiday. Um, it also has multiple racks. This is your convection oven, so it does convection bake, uh, roasting, broiling, everything a normal oven that you know of. You know, 
past days, the oven does it and more. Um, as you also see from the coffee system too, you know, we have that same kind of like scrolling, what you call our M-Touch technology, kind of really mimics what we know nowadays on a smartphone. Um, there's so much in here, so if you're a novice cook or a baker, easy operations. Yeah. If you want to explore more and you want to be that executive chef of your home, you can use all the fun functions and features in here, such as baking breads. You can um, add moisture and steam to it, so making sure that fresh is, oh, is wow. crispy at the end. So it's going to bake it, it's going to add that steam at the end, and then it's going to make sure it has that crispy crust on the outside. Mm -hmm. And that works anything baking-wise as well. Crispy also, crust on the outside sounds good. Yeah, it does. I'm starving. <laughs> so, also, turkey too. Or any kind of meat. Yeah. Because you're you're baking or roasting something, which then essentially it's cooking and then possibly it's getting dry. Yeah. But you add that little moisture on at the end on, on, the, on the top and it becomes a little crispy crunch, uh, crunch on the outside. Oh, that crust. Crazy. I see special modes. What are the special modes? Yeah, push it. Let's explore. Defrosting. Pizza. <laughs> wow. So this also has a, a rapid preheat. So when most ovens, you turn on your oven, it takes a, a bit of time. Our oven takes forever. Mm -hmm. So this has a, a rapid preheat, and that is the, basically the, the, the default. So essentially your cavity is going to get to a, that peak temperature quickly, and then rather than continue to be warm inside, so it will ruin the food, and then it will adjust. Uh, so the temperature might go. <laughs> Cupcakes is fine too. The temperature might go back down, but it'll kind of regulate to make sure that the core temperature is, is what you want it to be. I think These there's over pre-programmed. Pre-programmed. JC's lost programmed. in her happy place right now. I'm like, you can come back to two hours. <laughs> we'll be right here. Amazing. I mean, we got to prepare for Greek it. holidays. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty freaking cool, huh? And then there are, there are already some programmed recipes in there to, to help you. Um, and also you can program it in too. So if there is something like your, your, your Greek heritage or Italian heritage, if you, there's things that you're cooking at a, a regular basis, you can program it in here. So mm -hmm. all you have to do is a one touch and then it's gonna do, it's gonna get oh, to so you, you so you can save like user defined. User defined, so if So you, for pasticcio or something like that, Chase, yeah. you can just get your, settings and and that's it so out. rather than having it, set, <laughs> having it set the temperature all the time it's just gonna be you know a one touch uh, go so right there it was telling you that uh, you want to pull out the moisture uh -huh. that's in the oven so again it's did very intuitive out? it's very intuitive yeah i did in terms of making sure that you're gonna get that great end result jesus that's awesome Anybody can cook with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Mila's motto from when we started back in 1899, it was immer besser, and it's German for forever better. So forever better meaning multiple things, really, but at the end of the day, for the end user, we want to make sure everything's perfect and easy and harmonious for you. So it actually works from a company standpoint too, because we are working to be forever better, right. but also from the end user standpoint, it's a great motto because again, anything you put in here and how our, our products operate, making sure that the end user is happy at the end of the day. How was that coffee? Were you happy? Super happy. So just think about that. That was one coffee, but now you're going to be doing uh, multiple things in your, in your yeah. range here as well. So what you just opened up to, again, has that same swivel handle, mm -hmm. and this is our speed oven. So this is the microwave as well as a secondary convection oven as well. So everything that this does, this does, plus it has the, the microwave options. So if you're used to uh, an old microwave, whether it be a built-in indoor countertop, yeah. this does it. So, so that, was good. that was my question, Pizza. like when you say microwave, this operates like push one minute, hit go, it operates like a microwave. Absolutely. So it literally switches between these two different modes. Yep, exactly. Wow. Do both have the... Yes, okay. Okay, yep, so good. this is your this is your Rose Pro. Mm -hmm. um, so this one plugs into the side. Yep. And then, as well as on, on this side, uh, this has the... Oh, yeah, so this is kind of covered up. So this has, this has the wireless Rose Pro. Oh, yeah? Oh, hey. Okay. I mean, let's plug it in. Sweet. Yeah, the wraps are really easy to change. Well, we can go back and find yeah. it. Yeah, that's fine. 
you know, so this is the telescopic, so you get two telescopic ones, so it's easier, easier to slide ones. Mm -hmm. And then you got your standard back. So this is nice. Just That's really nice. I just saw this thing, I was like, JC needs this, and yeah. now I'm learning about it. <laughs> <laughs> Are these easy to change out, like when you put a bird in there? Yeah, so okay. same, same way the rack comes out, you know, this would come out as well. You know, just, all the way. Then you gotta, you just pull it. I'm not gonna do it right now. It's, yeah, it's okay. actually clipped in the back. Okay. That's great. So obviously those get stored in a cabinet yeah. and then you just use what you need when you need it. Right. That's super cool. And, and then, then we last have but not tray, least, right? push, push. So I found it. So you want to get around this side? Oh yeah, because so this is cool. wireless, right? Yes. So the roast probe for so the, the main probe. oven. Most probe, why don't you pull that out? It's kind of in there, just kind of pull out with your fingers there. So this is the wireless roast probe. So whereas this in the speed oven we saw that it has a cord, this one has the wireless roast probe. So it just sticks into your food item, and then it's going to register, especially with the type of temperature mm -hmm. of the meat that you're cooking, whether it be chicken or beef or lamb, you name it, bread even. And Kev, that talks to the screen up here. Yes, it'll talk and register this to okay, the screen. Got it. Basically, what it's going to be telling you to do, making sure that uh, the food, just like a normal probe. It's going to make sure that your food is, is to temperature. Right. So you want to, you know, well done, medium rare, depending on the type of meat, how you want it to it's be. It's my cooked. favorite tool in the kitchen. Yeah, it's nice. I, use it I like it for from a few perspectives. I mean, Jace, you put that in before it's even got to be in the oven. Yeah. So like, you lose no heat. You open the oven, put the food in, close it. You're not, you know, right. messing around with the yeah. probe at that That's point. True. Yep. That's super great. Yeah, you don't have to worry about cables and lines and something yep. like that. But the best. The, so that's great. And it lives like, inside well, the side. The, of the, the room. beautiful setup in terms of having these two ovens is because you know, again, if you're having entertaining, you're having a lot of people over, or you know, you just want to reheat something quickly, you have the option of multiple ovens to, to be using. So and also, from a space saving perspective as well, is that you don't need another niche in your cabinetry for another type of oven. You've got it right there. Oh wait, I can get involved from a oh. design perspective. Uh, yeah, so the idea of not having to design in a microwave into this beautiful kitchen, really, really dynamite. So if you close that door for me, obviously we've seen this a few times now, but like as, as far as an appliance goes, I don't care who you are, that's a bad ass looking range. So to know that there's a microwave integrated into that, to not have to have a completely separate niche for that, that frees up the space for the coffee machine. Originally, when I was laying the kitchen out and had not decided on the appliances, I just automatically had that, uh, I had that microwave positioned in the island. With this, we're able to get rid of that. Yes, we went a bit wider, but we did wind up freeing up space and that allowed us to integrate the coffee machine. So really, really excited about, about that whole thing. And then Jace, go ahead and push that warming drawer in. That, that is. is. Now, Kev, what, what's the deal with um, temperature on something like this? Like, I've never had a warming drawer, never used one. What's, um, what's kind of the, the ABCs here of the warming drawer? Uh, it's really it's quite simple. As you see from the functionality here, we really kind of kept it really intuitive in terms of how you want putting in here. So, everything from the cups for your, to warm up for your coffee system, to warming up dinner plates, to warming up and keeping food warm. Uh, it's also, you can do some quick, simple baking in here as well. Huh. You know, the manual will really kind of walk you through some of the things that you can kind of explore to okay. learn to use. Uh, but really from the basic oh, standpoint, yeah, it's basically, it yeah, so from, you know, warming up would be just like you're putting plates in there, to if you really want things to be warmer and steamier, you would use the, you know, which is the icon for steam. Uh -huh. So it's going to kind of use it and keep it longer and it's going to be higher heat. And then you put your temperature in there as well. Obviously, you want your cups and plates to be warm, but you don't want them to be burning. So when you go and grab them to put your food on, they don't burn your hand. So you'll just kind of gauge the temperature in terms of what you want to do. Warming, lower, cooking, keeping things hot, like food hotter, higher. Cool. And then it also has automatic settings as well. So if you know your company's coming over or you know you're going to be having coffee within this period of time and then you're going to be going out, you don't need to constantly keep this on. So you can set it for the duration as well. 
So if you're having a dinner party and you know, you know in three or four hours that you're going to be moving on to dessert, well then you can kind of set and have those cups being warmed up you know, keep it warm for four hours. So again, it's intuitive for you in terms of making sure and making your life easier for your lifestyle in terms of how you really want to make that the evening flow. Well, it's so great because oftentimes I work at night and I like to have his dinner ready, and now yeah. I can't wait to leave it for you in there. This is where your dinner will be. You'll find Sweet. it here. I'll be able to find it. <laughs> so that's what I need to know how to operate is the warming drawer. <laughs> yeah. okay, everything else is all you. Um, I was excited. Now I'm freaking over the moon for this. Like, this is going to be a real after a while, it'll, workhorse. After a while, it'll it'll time out and go back into sleep mode. And it drop, the panel drops on its own. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Simple, but like that's a nice that's and nice that you guys consider that you can. Yeah, it's just not much. It's not pulling much energy. Uh -huh. uh, but again, it's energy efficient as well because it's going to notice that you're not freezing, you're not cooking, you're doing anything. Maybe you know, a friend or something like that was just checking it out as they were exploring, or a child pushed the button just to oh. show the panel and then it'll shut down. Sorry, uh, yeah. just one technical detail for folks because I, I I know there's there's two different models here. You have dual fuel and you have all gas. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. So you can get the oven in gas. What we wound up doing was we went gas on the burners and then we went electric on the oven. And then obviously the microwave is, it needs electric and the warming drawer needs electric. But we went with the main oven being electric. I find that there's much, uh, they, they come up the temperature quicker. Uh, you can really dial in the temperature like that much more precise. So, you know, we, we had to run a 220 line for the electric, um, which is pretty standard for any type of oven. And then you've got your, your uh, gas line for all the burners. So, for anybody uh, interested in, in either of those two. Okay, so where are we off to next? So, now that we've actually been cooking, uh, we've been using plates, using pots and pans, using glasses as we've been drinking our coffee or glasses, um, we now need to wash them, right? You can wash them in the sink, but you are getting a most amazing well, we've selected for you the most amazing, but you can, <laughs> can tell us what you like. All right. Uh, we're going to move over to a dishwasher. So, Anthony, I'm actually going to pull you into this conversation yep. as well because there's multiple things of a dishwasher that we offer. Um, some stuff you can actually see the control panel that could be hidden in terms of in integrated into the machine. Some have our uh, stainless steel panels where you can do a customized panel. But also you can up it with some really cool new technology which allows you to be handleless. So it can kind of be seamlessly in, in, integrated into your cabinetry. Mm -hmm. So nothing sticks out, nothing protrudes. Uh, so really it's up to you in terms of if you want. Um, I'll let you explore this for a second. Okay. So you see there's a lineup of dishwashers and because we're in a showroom, this is a professional and they got a handle. Um, you would think maybe this would just be a cabinet. Yeah, so like instead, it's a knock to open. <laughs> so it pulls it out, pulls it open. Oh, I just love it. And then basically what you do is just kind of give it a pull. And it lets go. And let's go. And soon enough, look at the lights rise up. Is that amazing? Yes. So, Jace, just pick up the um, the door and just give it a push. Right? Yeah. Go ahead, close it all okay. the way. It'll, yep, so that's oh, it. Wow, that's now, nice hold it on. The... Now give it a knock. And then you just give it a tug and it lets go. So basically, the, this tongue is what operates everything. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Operates the door. Uh, yeah, not operates everything, operates the door, <laughs> right. I mean, look how many dishes are in right here. <laughs> yep, you can fit uh, roughly about 16 settings from large dinner plates to medium plates, uh, saucers, down to saucers. So Our everything, existing dishwasher does not have this feature. So Mielek was the first to come out with the patented third drawer. Mm -hmm. So this is our third rack, so this is our cutlery rack. Uh, you do have the option to get a um, the tray, tray, yeah, yeah. The tray that you would put down below, mm -hmm. um, but most of our dishwashers have this and people utilize it. Now the greatest thing about this, and this is already kind of loaded already, but anything you see in this dishwasher that has an orange or yellow, you see, mm -hmm. I, I say orange because some people That's, say yellow, uh, yeah. um, it's a, it's is a, adjustable. It's in between. So it's adjustable. So basically. Anything you do, it's going to move. So you saw it oh, pulls over really and neat. it drops. So if you have larger ladles, you have bigger uh, cooking utensils. If not, you can always bring it higher and it'll just lift it up. So, so then what about, yeah, what are this? these? So the same thing. So once I lower this, I can now slide. Oh, wow. This, 
you can slide. So if you have taller wine glasses in this upper shelf, you slide this over. You are an expert, exactly. <laughs> I drink again, a lot of wine. I'm it's, not an expert. <laughs> but again, it's very intuitive. It's a uh, very it's intuitive really in nature. No, it really is. Why, why it would slide. I'm joking. And both sides would be able to slide. So we'll just kind of close it for now. And then we'll just go towards the next rack. So this is set up for all those coffee drinkers. Mm -hmm. um, so it shows you a couple layers and racks of uh, trays that I'll have. Sure. So this is set up on this side for for, for espresso cups. Okay. And you see below it has larger coffee cups. So again, it could fit a lot of glassware in, on the top rack. But we'll come to, to this side for a second because this is not filled with anything. Um, but you'll basically, you know, you can easily just adjust it because it's got it has the orange. So just adjust it down below. So if you have wine glasses yep. mm -hmm. or something that's taller, now you can fit it in here. And if you don't, you just knock this down and you get the extra. Oh, I love this. You know, so everything from small espresso yep. to larger coffee that needs to be sipped deeper. It's all adjustable. Cool. And then what does this adjustment give us? So this adjustment is basically to move these tines. Okay, so, so those would lay down flat. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, Got so it. if you had maybe a big saucepan or something like that you wanted to use totally get space it. for. Again, um, that's really, really smart. I cool absolutely love that. A cool functionality of this dishwasher, the Nocta Open dishwasher, it has uh, basically an express wash. So it can do a uh, wash under an hour. Uh. <laughs> that's the best news ever. <laughs> So the, again, the purpose of that because normally you're you have to heat up the the machine has to heat up the water and, and most commonly on a normal function it takes over two hours mm -hmm. any product would do yeah. over two hours uh, but because this uh, has a great feature here and most of the features most of the dishwashers in the higher end of Milo you have the express wash so or quick intense washes, what we call it. Um, it. It knows how to operate and get that heat up to temperature quicker. It has a, a reservoir, so it's keeping some stored hot water in there already. Huh. It's gonna make it uh, go faster. And the greatest thing in here as well, and it could be less. It could be less than an hour because again, it could be 40 minutes, it could be 30 minutes. It all depends on how much of items you have in here and how dirty are the plates. It's all equipped with sensors, so it knows how much food is still coming off your, your cutlery and your plateware. So as it's going through, there's a sensor, basically a beam, if you will, and it's tracking how much non-water <laughs> is coming through. So as the water gets cleaner, it knows that like, oh, there's no more crap falling down. So, Absolutely. oh, that's really smart. Yep. Wow. So I'm gonna show it too. This rack had it as well, but again, wine glasses. Oh, we have some so nice really? usable rubber stoppers here. So you have a wine glass that you're putting in here, you'll yeah. catch that stem. Mm -hmm. I've broken way too many glasses in our current setup, so that I am excited. And this is stacked. This is stacked with all the plates just to show you how much of you fit in yeah. here. But if this was all empty, every tine that's in here can all be laid down or come out. Therefore, again, you can use the, that big that big pot that you are cooking with. Mm -hmm. Put that Lake Rosé right in the middle and yeah. wash it right up. So sweet. And again, like I said, this is just like what you see visibly what goes on. But like I mentioned, that little line that's causing, making sure that things are being clean. There's so much that happens inside the machine that making ensuring that you're going to get the, the cleanest plates possible or the, the one glasses without the spots. That is phenomenal. Also, we are rated one of the quietest dishwashers right. on the market. So when this is running, you won't even know. You won't know and it won't disturb your moving heights. <laughs> I, I picked this one already. You did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank this, you. I mean. <laughs> you know me so well. <laughs> the not, they had me at not to open. Yeah. yeah. Um, the technology alone. Yeah. Yeah, but the I mean the ability to have that much stuff in it and you know knowing that the, the, the speed wash with with the amount that that. Uh... Yeah. Oh, no, that's all right. So on the menu, everything's going to be push button. So you get to see in terms of, you know, you can tell the, the dishwasher what you're, what you're washing. So the grates and the filters is great too. Like I said beforehand on that 48 inch range, you know, grease might get on them. You want to make sure they're clean because again, after a while, you, you know, they can discover, but you, 
this uh, this can actually clean those grates. Everything is dishwashable. So you know, you put them on that bottom rack. You tell that you're what you're washing in here. The grates and the filters. Again, the filters from maybe the the hood that you're mm -hmm. using, because again, after a while, those can yep. get gummed up as well. So you put it in here, set it to the grates and filters. So now the machine knows exactly what it's supposed to be washing, what it's to be looking out for. Uh, again, it's going it's doing that because of different types of heat temperature that it needs. Um, I could do that <laughs> all day. Oh, just so freaking great. Cool. So we went from your 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 dirt from your cooking to your dirty the, dishes. Your dirty dishes. And then now we're done with everything, it's time for a beer. You need a beer or a glass of wine. Let's go to the fridge. Alright, so we'll go to this <laughs> Hold on, hold on. This is going on tripod mode because I got to play with this. Oh, this is where I get really excited. Okay, hold on. A clap. Hold on a second. Dance. Hold on a second. Okay. That is, wait a second here. What do I want to do? Just want to be a little more in the center. Bingo. On. Rolling. Okay. Oh. So this, I, mean... I don't know if you want it. Yeah. No. If, you, if, if there's a way to incorporate it into a kitchen, um, I would say do your best to, to make room for it. So you know, is... the way that I laid out the firehouse, we actually, the bar is across the room from the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So it's all visible from the same place, but it's very much its own section. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the focal point of that bar. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. Can I, yeah, yeah, thanks. I mean, you explained this to me, but this is like... So right now we, we, have a, we have a sommelier kit in, in the center here for display purposes in our showroom, but uh, there are three different zones. So you can adjust the temperature in those zones. So if you drink all white, it could be obviously at a cooler temperature, sure. red, a little bit warmer temperature in terms of like the high 40s, low 50s. Mm -hmm. right? Or you can do two white, one red, and vice versa. So you can customize it based on, on what, you, what you drink. Do you know what this is? It's a blackboard. So you can write your wines. Stop it! Yeah. <laughs> no, no, so if the either, yeah. Or you basically say this Hands is Jason's wine. <laughs> Jason's wine. Jason's wine. Anthony Shelf. Anthony Shelf. <laughs> Anthony Shelf. Mine, 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 mine. Yeah, 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 mine. Right, exactly. No, oh, this is so bad. Wow. That's so cool. So with the bottles we got for our engagement, we can label them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drink when, you know, yeah. drink it. So let me ask you a question. Um, the way my mind works, cold drops, heat rises. So do, you, do they recommend like the whites go in the bottom or you can set anything independent of whatever we are, else? We are independent. And what you'll see here, you might not be able to see it on camera, but there basically is this rubber stopper here. Sure. And it's cut in a way that it also matches I'll, I'll up. I'll get some close shots. It also matches up when you close the door, so this rubber seal. So it acts as a rubber seal, so gotcha. nothing's going to be transferred in terms of the temperatures of heat. So each area is its own compartment. So these fans are in each. Mm -hmm. Huh, interesting. Yeah. That's so cool. Oh, look at that. So you don't have this. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Ah, don't worry about it. Uh, we're, we're going through this all yeah. now. Yeah. So now this means the light stays on when the door's closed. Yep. So it'll be like more of a display mode. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Wow. And the glass is a little tinted, yeah? It is a little tinted. That's great. Yep. Keep the UV away from And them. again, just like some of the other techniques that we're talking about in terms of appliances, this has a panel. You can get it with our stainless steel panel that, you know, if you were getting that design. Right. Uh, or else you can get your custom panel for the we went, we went custom. Yeah. Yeah. Again, most people want to make sure it's matching. Absolutely. It blends in, so it's nothing that really kind of sticks out in the house. But if you were going for more of our 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 stainless steel or clean touch steel design mm -hmm. or ovens and whatnot, 
then you'd probably get something like that just to mention. Yeah, having that level of flexibility from a design perspective is great because your branding is really nice and subtle. So like, you know, when you're when you want to concentrate on the cabinets and you just want to really enjoy all the function of this stuff and show off what it can do for the operation of your space. And then, like I said, tie this into whatever aesthetic you're going for. You guys really nail it. So it's, it's awesome. And I can store like basically over 150 bottles. Okay, let's get you guys in a little closer. Also, as we're showing, we'll show like the customizable stuff of it as well. Can you grab it? <clears throat> so features. Right, so we talked about you know, the operation works. We talked about this, the rubber seal to making sure each compartment is going to stay cold. Uh, I'll also show you something else that's really customizable too because no, no wine bottles or champagne bottles are the same. So you have different sizes and shapes of, of all the bottles. So I'm just gonna just take these out for a second. So these, uh, first of all, when you're looking for a, a wine storage unit, you want to make sure it has wood in it because if it has any kind of metal racks, it causes more vibration. Now we do have a kind of a really silent, quiet motor in terms of it operates in terms of the fans. But also, if it were not, or if it didn't have, if it had metal tines, it would shake the wine. Hmm. So maybe you have an older type of wine that you're holding on for a really special moment. You don't want to disturb it too much. You want to make sure it's kind of tempered the right way. So we have our oak wood slats here. And also you see as well, if you want to get the camera in here, you can see all these notches because these come out. Oh, get out of here. So this is what we call our flexi frame. So it can be moving and adapting. So if you wanted to put a larger champagne bottle that has that big base to it. That's super smart. You move it over so it sits a little bit deeper into the, about the, the, the wood the oak wood slats here, and this is what we call our flexi frame because it has these notches in. And each of these come out and adjust and move because no bottle is the same size. Uh, if you're using larger size Magnum champagne bottles, you want to move it over so it can sit. Yep. So then the rack will go in Absolutely. and it'll close. Um, best way to do it, you, know, you can just kind of keep adjusting them as you, as you go based sure. on the size bottles that you're bringing home. Wow. Everything is so easy to manipulate. Yeah, yeah. All the it really is. Yep. Because it can be daunting sometimes yep. to learn. You can also, you know, this we're here, we're showing wine, but you also can, you know, put beer in here as mm -hmm. well. And if you decide that you want to have a, a sommelier kit, which is essentially what this setup is, mm -hmm. uh, we have a different variations of them, but it basically allows you to show your wine. Also, it's great because if you have an open bottle of white wine, you probably won't want to keep it cool. Right. So you basically have an opportunity to put it back into the fridge versus trying to. Oh, interesting. Um, That's super smart. Trying to find somewhere else to put it in on the counter or another fridge. Mm -hmm. Does that pull out? Great. So you're suddenly able to get here, you get your wine bottles, you can hold some glasses in here too, kind of what we get for coffee, making sure that the coffee is staying cool, um, same, the coffee cups are staying warm. You now can keep your wine glasses chilled Chill. as well. But the last thing you want is to have a, a warm glass of white wine. <laughs> what width is this one? Is this the, when you said this isn't the one we got. Amazing, okay, so. So we'll just show the refrigerator. Yeah, for sure. Um, so you have a couple, of, so Mila makes a couple options in, in, um, in refrigeration, mm -hmm. just like you kind of saw with the wine fridge that there's customizable ways to do it. Here, essentially we have sizes, so you can do a full column and this is Anthony where you join in this conversation yeah. in terms of, you know, <laughs> what do you want to design? How much space do you have? Cause we have everything from a 18 inch, uh, freezer column to 24 to 36. Uh, and well, same thing on, on the refrigerator side, other than the teams. Normally, you bring something a little bit larger. Um, so I think what we've kind of picked out and we've been talking about, again, from an entertaining standpoint, I guess I just pay you guys as entertainers. <laughs> you want to make sure that you'll be able to put platters. Because we've had a few dinners. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you want to make sure that you're putting, you know, enough room for a platter in there, yes. or even like yep. two boxes and stuff like that. Without playing Jenga. Yeah. So this is um, a 36 inch wide. Um, refrigerator. So this is this is the size that we went with, Jace. Okay. So this is we, fridge on top, freezer on the bottom, uh -huh. single column. Basically, we have a 36 now, so we're basically 
in the same size range, but the efficiency of storage in this Especially versus what we have is, comparison. yeah. And the light is way cleaner too. If I mean, it's kind of an odd thing to say, but it's just so clean. It really looks. So you open up our, I our storage the color compartments. Blocking you guys did. Here. So, yeah. So we have to design and show it off the right way. Right? That's so, right. Um, these are our, our fresh drawers. So you know whether you're putting your produce in here or you're putting in your your um, your meat before before you cook it that night or something like that. Um, the one we have a different operation of it as well in terms of how it can make sure make sure that these are staying fresh at all times. Okay. Did you open the freezer, Jace? Not yet. Go ahead. Yeah, but well, I wanted to ask you, is this oh. the control for the drawers? It is. Okay. So that's the, it's logging how much humidity should be allowed to be in the drawers based on what items you're putting in there. So if you're putting something like lettuce in there, you want to change the humidity versus something like has apples. Mm -hmm. um, or if you're putting, let's say you're coming home with a fresh salmon, uh, you put it in the drawer so again, it doesn't kind of go to anything else. Mm -hmm. uh, but as I mentioned that too, in terms of the, 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 the transfer of scent, it's, you're not going to have that in our refrigeration it's because we have active uh, active charcoal cleaners. We've got um, air compressors that is actually making sure that um, the air compressor is keeping this cold versus the freezer cold. Um, so some of the lower end models, the air circulator just kind of goes around and does everything all at once. So therefore, sometimes when you're going to a freezer, you see something, you're tasting something that yes. doesn't taste like it's supposed to taste because it's been circulating one kind of big Huh, color. that's super interesting. Yeah. So we don't need baking soda. You don't need baking soda, <laughs> no. So you've got your, your active air cleaner. So this has the charcoal filter in here. So any kind of scent that's in here, it's going to be swished, looped through the charcoal filter to making sure everything's going to be staying fresh in there. So you know, your lettuce and your fruit and your, um, what is this? Artichokes. Artichokes are not gonna be picking up any kind of scents and, and odors. Oh, that's great. That's great. Now, does it tell you when to change the filter? It recommends every six months, but that's based on always on the consumer uh, use. Sure. And then if you wanna open up the freezer, we talked about um, you know, the, the air circulation, because this is, has its own air compressor, but then this has another air compressor. So this is empty, but it's gonna make sure that it's, it's nice and cold as well. Look at us. Get a bag of ice. Bag of ice. And then that's the ice maker. Huh? Sweet. This is, this is just a box. <laughs> <laughs> that's not part of the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> so, also, you see here we got metal shelves because metal shelves will actually keep the, the food colder. Yep. So, especially if you're coming in with groceries and you're opening up and you're locking your stock and everything in here, these metal uh, shelves will actually keep your, your food from defrosting quicker. So if you're going to be open for a long period of time or you're mm -hmm. rifling through and you're getting hands full of stuff, this will keep it colder versus the plastic shells yeah, that majority of uh, have. Oh, man. And you notice when you, when you pulled it, yeah. it was tight yes. because it has a, a really tight seal of making sure everything stays fresh so nothing leaks out. Because so just like in a house, like, you know, in terms of the energy efficiency, you don't want to leave a window open, you don't want to have a seal on your door. Um, Anthony will comment on this too in terms of you want to make yeah. sure you have energy savings. Yeah, because that, if you don't, that, those bills just start racking up. No, everything everything we did, man, from the insulation to the heating systems to the appliances we chose, everything is super, super efficient. We wanted to spend money on high quality, high end things that we were going to use in the space mm -hmm. and not throw money out the window with the utility company. So that's kind of the approach that I took throughout the entire process. And we are Energy Star uh, yep. awarded for our, for our refrigeration. Again, because of the tight seal, because of the energy, how the functions, you know, it knows when it's been open for long periods of time. Or it starts yelling at you. It starts you know, <laughs> letting, it. letting you know the door's been open. Yes. Um, but also in terms of those air compressors, air compressions too, that, yep. you know, it's, it's utilizing this or utilizing that. So if you were in your freezer or your refrigerator and the other was closed, it's not actually getting everything cold. Yep. It's going to make sure that it's going to focus on one of the units, not both of the units. Got it. Yeah, laundry. Let's go, let's go do some laundry. Yeah, stay clean. <laughs> it's a nice flow to this. I, I appreciate it. All oh, right. So if you can't tell already, Mila is second to none. Uh, that's why we selected them. Um, you know, you guys know me as a lover of technology. 
they integrate technology in a smart way that actually benefits the operation of the appliance. It's not technology just for technology's sake. Um, and these are, these are quality built German engineered products that are gonna last a lifetime. This in the laundry, I'm very excited about because from a construction perspective, and we're gonna dive into this now, but from a construction perspective, I did not need to vent the dryer. The dryer is electric, not gas, but it's a good electric dryer. And anybody who has dealt with electric before knows exactly what I'm talking about. This changes the game. And I'll just add on to that point where you said it's electric. <laughs> Uh, so it does not need boogie, to be woogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> It does not need to be vented out. Everything exactly. is going to be recirculated, and this is what we call our heat pump condenser dryer. Um, so it basically is going to circulate the heat. It actually, if you think about the logic of it, it kind of works like a car engine, where you know it's got an engine cooled in there. Uh, it's making sure when when something's getting hot, it's going to get pulled down and it's going to be recirculated back into the machine itself, and it's going to constantly keep on uh, drying the clothes, but also pulling and absorbing the water off, but then burning that water off. So it's really cool videos in terms of how it really shows what's happening on the inside. And again. I restate this every single time in any type of appliance that I'm talking about. Yeah. Mila is great, it looks wonderful on the outside, but it's on with the inside of the heart of the machine yep. is what really makes it work properly. Yep. Um, so I think from based on what we were talking about in terms of your space and what you were looking for in your lifestyle, um, this is actually I think the unit that we're going to be recommending. Yeah. Um, it's a stacked unit. Stacked. Um, we are European size, but don't let European size fool you. No, um, you the, the, the capacity in here is, is quite it's is quite large. Oh, it is much bigger than this is the, I'm showing you the dryer right now. Um, you can fit a king size comforter in here. Um, as long as it's just not like a big down puffy one, but it definitely has the capacity to, to do that. Um, again, it has so many features and functions in uh, in the machines. Is what you see down here, and again, because we are in the showroom, it, it's showing this twin dose. So this is the washing machine, and it has automatic dosing. So this is a section where you will put in, and this is already kind of connected right now, so but convenient. it has two phases of laundry detergent. You've got your regular detergent, and then you've got your oxidized bleach. Every load of laundry will get both of these. You would think something like dark clothes, you wouldn't put bleach in it, but it's, it's oxidized, so it just gets ever so little bit amount just to keep those that clothes fresh. Everything that we do in terms of our laundry system is making sure that those clothes last longer. We probably assume that a lot of people are spending a lot of money on their clothes and they don't want to keep on buying it. You pull out something that's like worn and torn and just worn out, mm -hmm. you know, possibly because it's been beaten up in their washing machine or their lifestyle. But we hope to make sure that people have that, that freshness of their clothes. So what you would do on this is essentially you would kind of turn it on and you would make sure that you have the, the twin, dose, twin dose setting. And you would basically allow it, it's going to ask you a couple of questions in terms of um, how soiled are your clothes, are you putting in whites or darks, uh, and then basically it's a set it and forget it kind of scenario where it knows when to draw in the detergent and it knows how much of that detergent should go in. And if it needs more, it'll add more later on. But if you don't have this, That's awesome. or if you've run out, you can still add your own laundry detergent in here. So. Let's just say you're just moving in back into the firehouse, but you have detergent from your old one. Sure. Uh, you can still use it up here. High so efficiency, great. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wait, so this says Wi-Fi. Yeah. So it does have Wi-Fi, so it can it connect to the Mila at, Mila at mobile app. So it'll tell you that you can, you can start it or stop it via your mobile app. It'll also let you know if the detergent is running low. Um, and then basically, yep. you know, it also allows you just to track it. So again, it may not be on the same floor that you're mainly living on. So in order to get down to that area, you want to make sure your time are proper because I know so, Sundays for us. Yeah. Doing laundry. Look, one of our biggest pet peeves is leaving damp clothes in the dryer and then you are in the washer and then you put them in the dryer and then they stink of water because you've let them sit too long. And it happens all too often. <laughs> yeah, because we're busy, you know? So the nice thing is, and, and how I envision us using this the most is you can stack the, the washer with clothes. Mm -hmm. Don't turn it on. We go to work an hour or two before we come home, you hit the button, it starts, and then you're throwing them right in the dryer. So not having damp clothes sitting in a washer, not being used all day while you're at work, uh, making clean clothes dirty is, is, is a really great use case for this. But I love the idea that it tells you um, 
you know, when, when the detergent's low, I love the idea, because our, our living situation is flipped. Our living area is mostly upstairs and the washer dryer is downstairs. So that little convenience of a buzz in the pocket, you know, you don't always hear the bell go off or whatever it is, the, the beautiful meal of chime. With the twin, um, twin, twin do? Twin dos. Twin dos. Do you have to use these? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because they're they're basically they're patented to work with the machine, so it knows how much to draw, um, and it's basically a single use. It's not a single use, but it's a, it's a cartridge, so once you can't just refill it. Do you know how many loads this lasts? Um, it, it, or this one more? It, it lasts on um, the uh, regular wash wipes. It's probably about sixty washes. Okay. Yeah. That's great. And then you, you can yeah. also do um, these little cap doses. So. These are usually used on occasion, maybe once every six months or every year, um, or you know, you're working out, you're working on construction jobs, mm -hmm. your clothes maybe just get a little bit smellier than normal. Um, basically, you put all your you know odorized, deodorized clothes in there, and you basically use one of these things, so it refreshes, it refreshes your clothes. Um, we also have it for like outdoor gear, so because it has that um, that material on it that wicks away the water, mm -hmm. you know you don't wash that too often, but you still want to wash it. So we have a cap just for that called outdoor. And basically, you would just slide in there, and you just you would puncture it, and this is your detergent. It doesn't pull that anymore. It doesn't use any other detergent. This is now your detergent for it. So it's a and one just for clarity, that. you don't need to remove that. It just knows that it. that's in there. Yep, it'll it'll pull right from the, the cap face. Just, just this is to our lifestyle. It's just unreal <laughs> how so smart these things are. You would go through the um, the panel as you were doing it, and gotcha. you would go find the okay, cap dose smart. and select the cap dose. Okay. You don't have to call out what kind of cap dose you're using, yep. smart or sport, sports or outdoor wear or wool care. Got it. You don't have to do that, it's, oh, just, it, it's gonna pull up. Yeah, so that sweater, you probably wouldn't think about putting too often in a washing machine. Oh, never. Maybe to a dry cleaner, or you would wash it maybe once a year or something like that, uh, when the season comes. But you actually now can wash it and pair it with our dryer, and it won't shrink it, it'll rejuvenate it. Huh. How many is your dryer sheet? So this is for our this box is open. So this one. I was wondering what that was yeah. in there. So this is um I don't know if it's black homes, but uh, this is your deodorizer, your cap dose for your for your for your dryer. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you don't use it a lot, you can adjust in terms of how much scent you want in there, but essentially there's a section right here um, that you would put it in, crack it in terms of opening it up and then get the, the ventilation going mm -hmm. into it, and then as the machine is working it's going to draw it through the, the holes in here and add it to your clothes and huh. so your clothes will come out you know, smelling the scent that you prefer. So we've got a Love couple it. of options like that, you know, outdoor smelling aqua, um, it's kind of like the new dryer sheets. Super cool. So in, in your dryer, we talked about being a heat pump dryer, so you don't need to vent it out. Yep. Um, occasionally, you know, because it's drawing in air from the room, you just want to make sure that you're cleaning it out every now and again. This is just the the lint drawer, if you will. Yep. Uh, making sure you know you vacuum it out. Just kind of you know use your vacuum brushes and just kind of clean it out of there. This is also come come off. You now you can run it, launch it under the the water fountain or the, the, in the sink. Just drain it out and then dry it. Just by out being hanging, letting it air dry putting it back together and just push it back in. Again, because this is the area where it's sucking air in, it's pushing air out. The water is gonna be all heated up in here. So this is like the, the, the engine, if you will, and the engine coolant of how mm -hmm. it operates. So you wanna make sure you're keeping it clean, just like you would in, in a car as well. All right, absolute ton of information. We were excited before. Oh my God, I, I would it. I would say we're thrilled at this point. Um, a lot of technology, a little bit of a learning curve too. Um, one of the cool things we are talking to Kevin about as we were leaving, they offer cooking classes there at the A&D building, um, and the cooking classes really focus on using the features, using the technology of the appliances. So nice to know that they're there, they're free classes. So, you know, rather than just use this piece of technology the way you would any old stove, you can really utilize all the function that it has. But we are absolutely thrilled. I can't wait. Heading back to the job site, making sure nobody makes any mistakes. We keep this thing moving forward and uh, we'll go from there.